Hi everyone, here's my finger, here are my fingers. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Grace, TGIF everyone. Woo, did some retail therapy and um, I don't know if I've told you guys before, but usually with these Dollar Tree hauls, one of the reasons why I try to do them is so that I can share with you some of the items that are showing up in my stores so that you guys can certainly keep an eye out uh, for them in your store. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to, I know, I'm freehanding this. I'm going to try to keep it as steady as I possibly can. Um, I missed this last year um, or the last time that these were at the Dollar Tree. And this is what the case looks like. And I know that there was the flower version and then there was this heart version. And I actually saw this version um, in the purple and the pink shade at Daiso. And I think the plastic for that one is a little thicker. Um, if I were thinking about it, I would have probably brought mine down. But anyway, um, I did pick up a few of these. Um, there were actually about 20 and they were on the bottom of my um, Dollar Tree shelf, you know, in one of the checkout stands. So I don't know if people are going to notice it, but I did pick some up because Christmas is coming. And I do like to do little Christmas gifts for my minions. So I thought that these would be great, not necessarily for lipstick and stuff like that, but certainly these would be great for crafting purposes. Um, and if we jimmy these a little bit, these could work for stationary items. So got that. And so one of the um, points that I was trying to make, but I totally forgot to mention, is that I'm noticing that if we just wait long enough, Dollar Tree eventually brings items back, as I'm sure we're all experiencing with the acrylic or the plastic containers, the clear plastic containers, as well as these. So my suspicion is that the flower ones should be making a comeback as well. So I'm so glad I found these because I was really sad the last time because I completely missed it. And it's one of those things, if you don't go to Dollar Tree at least once a week and check it out, you just kind of miss it, huh? Anyway, so there's that. And then I don't think I've seen these ever before. Maybe I have, but do you guys see this? I know it's Christmas stuff. I know it's early. Usually I tell myself don't do anything Christmas related until after Thanksgiving. So um, decorations don't go up for me until after Thanksgiving. But as many of you have so insightfully pointed out, when they start showing up at the Dollar Tree and we don't pick it up, by the time we actually need it, they're gone. So um, I picked up two sets of these, two silvers and two golds, and I thought that these would just be nice hanging um, from the ceiling in my um, church youth room because my sister takes care of the children's department, and she's got the children's area so prettily decked out. I mean, when you walk into their area, you're kind of like, oh, I love being here. And then you go into the youth area, which is where I'm, you know, I, that's my thing. And people are like, so, any decorations? <laughs> it is what it is. So I thought I, that I would be a little bit more festive around the uh, Christmas season. So I'm preparing for that. Now, this is not a Recollections um, tape. Please don't get fooled by this. What I did was I noticed that these glitter washi tape um, were at the Dollar Tree. And so as you can see, I bought four sets. And so the set that I bought was the pink and gold, silver and blue, pink and blue, and then silver and gold. And then I noticed that they fit perfectly, you guys, into one of these Recollections. Collections on um, washi tape tubes and so I put that there just to show you and then I did pick up one of my little watch podge um, containers because I ended up giving the one that I had um, to my sister for a project that she needed to do so I wanted to just have one on hand for the holidays when I go into crafty mode and then oh this little girl I not a Dollar Tree I know but I wanted to share her with you because some of you guys may know, did I mess up her hair enough? <laughs> Some of you may know, I like to collect Happy Meal toys from time to time, at least the ones that I like. And I'm not a big Trolls fan, but for some reason, her fuzzy hair I really like. And so, no promises, but there's a good chance that Gracie21 on YouTube, at the age of 40-something, may be collecting Happy Meal toys. Well, you guys knew I do that, did that for the peanuts thing last year, right? Anyway, um, oh, so 
If any of you guys have kids and your kids, after they've played with it, no longer want their little, like, pencil toppers, feel free to send them my way. <laughs> they will be much loved and cared for and used by yours truly. Anyway, um, this I thought I would share with you. It's a little sticker, um, white labels, round ones, um, by Jot, 315 for a dollar. And I'm, I actually got these for stamps, you know, those planner stamps and, you know, just little embellishment stamps and, you know, creating my own stickers. I got this idea from Sarah Elizabeth because she uses these to make her planner stickers. And so what she'll do is I think she colors some of them in ink or highlighter um, of her color choice, and then she stamps whatever things. So uh, she ended up sending me some of these labels, and they were really cute. One was, like, travel, one was shopping, one was, you know... Um, haircut, you know, doctor's appointment and stuff like that. So very cute. I thought I would keep these on hand so that I can create some stamps. Not necessarily planner stickers because I don't really use planner stickers as much. Although I am having a lot of fun using the ones Sarah sent me. But I thought that those might be fun for the really tiny, you know, gorgeous girls animal. Like I have a little mouse um, stamp that would fit nicely in. You guys know, I don't need to explain. All right, now, the big find of this week that had me so excited, you guys. Can you see this? Dollar Tree must be doing something with Zach because you guys know around the summertime, I had those um, double-walled insulated um, plastic containers for cars. Remember that I ended up picking a bunch for um, the VBS, you know, children's, um, t you know, prize store? And then recently we had the Snoopy mugs and the Minion and the, you know, Mickey Mouse and the superhero, Superman mugs, right? So this week at My Dollar Tree, they had this. For those of you who are Fro Frozen fans, these are really nice. And I pulled one set out so you can see them um, together forever. And it's really sturdy. And it's, hold on, does it say how many ounces? No. I'm thinking it's about an 8-ounce cup, though, 8 or a 10-ounce cup, okay? So there's that one, and the second one in the set is this one. Olaf, isn't he adorable? So anyway, everyone, for those of you who are looking for great ideas for birthday, affordable birthday gifts or Christmas gifts or just home decor items, they're coming. So I hope you guys are able to find them, certainly, and I think that's it. So that's my Dollar Tree haul, everyone. Um, this week, or today, I have quite a number of videos I'm going to try to film. Um, there is an upcoming Tuesday morning haul, um, a Michael's very short $2 grab bag haul, and then I did check um, my mailbox, and quite a number of your entries came through, so or have arrived. So I will be filming about three or four of those, I think. So anyway, take care, everyone. Until the next video, then. Bye.